Welcome to the Paragliding XE Stories. Today's story is about a wing, the recently released UP Miru 2, a high-performance ENG cross-country wing. I took the wing for a two-hour flight in spring thermals. The wing size is SM with a certified takeoff weight range of 88 to 101 kilos. I loaded the wing right at the top with 100 kilos. Please note, this is not an extensive test. This first impressions video represents my personal independent opinion. I haven't flown the first generation Miru, so I won't compare them. This is a brand new wing that came in a factory package. The leading edge doesn't look too aggressive. The risers are quite simple, with the outer ace and stabilos attached to a separate line. So let's go! Inflation is very easy for the category. The wing comes up very quickly, even in light wind, so you'll need to be aware in strong winds. Right after the launch I noticed that the brakes were very firm, even in the first few centimeters. I found it pretty uncomfortable. Probably it's because of the high wing loading. The factory setting for the brakes is extremely short. I talked to a UP team pilot about this. The pilot confirmed that it wasn't just my wing. I didn't like it, and in a few minutes you will see why. The handling of the wing seemed a bit damped. It prefers flat turns. Every time I tried to bang the wing a little more, it would somehow resist and go back to a flatter turn. I didn't like that. Here's a comparison with my current favorite wing. Not much brake input, but still a dynamic tight turn. The brake shifting doesn't really work here. See how the wing tries to come out of the high bank angle. The wing feels extremely stable, it moves like one block, I liked it. The movements are quite damped. A lot of comfort for this class. Entering sharp thermals is a non-event, I liked it. Now let's talk about accelerated flight. This is the flight mode you'd really buy a wing like this for. At half bar, the wing feels even more solid, it doesn't roll. However, the tension on the bees is extremely high for a two-liner wing. I didn't feel much of what the wing was doing on the bees. In fact, I was a little surprised. I could still control the pitch, but I had no idea what the wingtips were doing. I really didn't like it. The tight bees and solid canopy feel give a lot of confidence and filter out the fine movements, but I prefer to get more information about the air I'm flying in. One more thing, but maybe I'm nitpicking. The bee risers and thus the handles are quite noticeably turned inward. In fact, the inner ends of the handles almost touch the A risers, mm -hmm. so it feels a bit inconvenient to grab the handles. You see what I mean, you have to push against the A's with your fingers. Compare this to other gliders where the B handles are easier to grab. Flying at 80% speed, you'll notice that the trailing edge is impacted by the brakes. There are no wraps here, 
but you can see that the brake line is under tension. I was surprised again. And this is the factory setting. Now, even at half bar, you can see little wrinkles on the trailing edge. I think the brakes need to be set longer. The UP team pilot said UP asks that no adjustments be made to the test wings. How does the wing climb? Watch me thermalink with a very good pilot on another UP wing, the ENC class Trango X. You can see that the Meru 2 climbs very well. Sometimes the wing will hang back slightly when entering a thermal. A gentle catch is then required. Even though the wing felt very stable and quite calm, it's still an END wing and requires active piloting in moving air. So, what's my conclusion? The Miru 2 is a comfortable cross-country wing that likes to turn flat and has a quite calm character. But some of its features just don't suit my personal preferences. Don't forget that every pilot is different, so you should test it yourself. I hope you find my first impressions about UP Miru 2 useful. See you in the next story!